the Nintendo Wii, home to some of our favorite family-friendly titles like Mario Kart, Lego Batman, Wii Sports Club, and uh, this. My bad, I lied. That was not family friendly. That was not for the children at all. But it was fire. <laughs> Today, I would like to take a look back at one of my favorite games released on the Nintendo Wii on March 10th, 2009. Developers Platinum Games came through and blessed us with one of the console's best gems and a game that still holds up to this day. And that game is Mad World. Mad World was an over-the-top, comically violent fusion of a beat-em-up and a hack-and-slash game set in a fictional place called Jefferson Island, where chaos erupted as the city's transportation routes and communication were essentially cut off from the rest of the world that pretty much left Jefferson City uh, to plunge into chaos, and it turned into a comically twisted game show called Death Watch, where citizens kill each other in an attempt to become the number one contestant, and you earn a nice cash prize for all of your hard work, assuming that you can survive. Uh, we're then introduced to the main character, the homie, the OG, Jack Kamen, voiced by Steve Blum. Jack is a cigarette-smoking, chainsaw-wielding brute of a man who enters Death Watch. Uh, and he's also there to investigate other happenings on the island, you know, deeper, darker criminal link, other things going on. But, you know, due to his exceptional methods of mayhem, Jack is sponsored in the Death Watch competition by a mysterious man named Agent 13 who pretty much agrees to aid Jack along as long as he keeps hacking off those limbs and killing folks, making that money. And what really caught my eye about this game back when it came out and what I still love about it to this day is the presentation, the comic book, uh, black and white contrast of the character designs and the environments I thought was a really dope art choice. And it just, it looked different than a lot of the other Wii games that were out at the time. And it was a style that I, just never got tired of looking at and it was really complemented well with you know outside of the black and white you get some splatters of red with the blood because there's a whole lot of that going on and you get the nice popping uh, comic book text font when you're putting a chainsaw through somebody's torso or doing some other crazy move I, I love games that have personality that have flair that know they're ridiculous and aren't afraid to lean into their absurdity so I appreciate that Mad World did not hide what it was it actually leaned into it <laughs> but in a way that i feel like was done creatively and it was still quality mad world was a perfect marriage of narrative presentation and gameplay as you go through the various locations in jefferson city just killing everything and everyone <laughs> in sight you get the commentary of howard buckshot holmes and chris creely giving you their wildly unfiltered thoughts <laughs> that will hopefully keep you uh, entertained while you're just out here being a destructive force of nature and their commentary just really gave you the sense that you actually were really in a game show. And sure, sometimes the dialogue was annoying and it can be repetitive. But when you combine it with this upbeat, kind of off-kilter, like abstract hip-hop soundtrack, I, I thought it was it was a really dope, you know, really dope audio backdrop uh, that really complemented the gameplay and the environment. And it, it really perfectly matched the tone i think of what the game was going for and speaking of gameplay outside of the sometimes wonky camera and the lock on mechanic that could have been a little better um mad world nailed the gameplay in my opinion um i know not everyone was a fan of the wiimote or the nunchuck but in my opinion mad world made it work with its control scheme combos were visually punishing and devastating but they're pretty easy to pull off you could swing the Wiimote in certain directions uh, to control how you aimed your chainsaw. And depending on your button input, uh, when you finish the enemy, you get this little finish icon that pops up. And depending on the input, you can do a, a different <laughs> variety of different brutal, just vicious finishing moves. Um, but the combat wasn't just about the hands and the chainsaw. It extended into the environment and the other weapons around you. So it wasn't enough to just simply do a punch combo or even just spam with the chainsaw like you need to hit somebody with a tire you need to put a street sign through their head you need to throw them on a spike train hit them with a trash can put them through a wall fan or throw them in a massive boiling pot and fry them into a nice crispy human chicken tender um, kill in whatever ways you see fit but you had to do it in style because mad, mad world's stage progression 
depending on you inflicting damage and getting as many points as possible within a certain time limit so that you could open up other areas of the stage and ultimately make it to the final boss at the end. And I really can't speak highly enough of how much I love the stage layouts and the mini games within each area. Hitting a certain total point uh, unlocked what was called a bloodbath challenge and the bloodbath challenges were these comically violent <laughs> mini games where you would rack up points by completing some absurd over the top challenge where you basically just needed to kill as many people as possible. And if you were confused about how the challenges work, there's no worries. My man, Black Baron, got you covered with the explanation. He's going to let you know what you need to do and how you need to do it. See Exhibit A. Y'all know who I am. That's right. The Bishop of Blood and Carnage, the Black Baron. Now back to this baby. You just toss a motherfucker into this here jet engine and accelerate that ass into the danger zone at 30,000 Gs. What's going on, baby? Yeah, can't you see him? Hey, hey, what you doing? I'm talking to the people. I'm breaking it down. Ah, oh, God, bitch. I'm going to pimp smack your ass when I get... Oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Black Brand. Appreciate you. Um, we'll be seeing you later, even though I know you got put through a fan, but you know, it is what it is, <laughs> but this formula honestly never got old to me while you're kind of completing the same task throughout each stage. The stages themselves are big enough to explore and they all are unique within themselves and it, it keeps it fresh and fun. It is just, it so many, just so much variety in ways to cause chaos. You'll always be finding new ways to punish enemies, whether it be through these just barbaric <laughs> environmental hazards. Or just random items to hit them with or the variety of weapons that you'll come across throughout each stage the action in mad world is delivered in abundance and it is stretched across all of these hazardous environments uh, you get some cool engaging boss fights the learning curve i felt like was was pretty easy it's something that you could pick up and within a couple minutes you i feel like you'll pretty much get the gist of it and you'll be having a blast it was challenging at times but nothing too crazy nothing ever felt insurmountable and it it didn't overstay its welcome you could finish this game in about five to six hours depending on your skill level um, but it had replay value you could always go back and go for the high score or just go back and try to figure out other new ways <laughs> to kill folks because you can explore the stage so there might be a new way to kill somebody that you didn't get a chance to do you can go back and do it but to put it simple man mad world is just in my opinion it was fun in its purest form just over the top gory comic book action and it it was a game that i feel like deserved a lot more love uh, the people who know about it know about it but if you didn't know about it you definitely need to give this one a chance um i would love to see this get ported to the current gen uh consoles but if you still have a wii copies of this game actually aren't terribly hard to find uh, you can catch it on amazon you can catch it on ebay um a gem i'm gonna throw at y'all I need to go to goodwillbooks.com. Um, it's not on there all the time, but if you can catch it on Goodwill, it's normally really, really cheap. Um, goodwillbooks.com is low-key like a gem site in general if you're trying to find some old games. So I will leave a link to the description in that below. Also did a YouTube video on that. I might leave a link to that also. But that's all I got for today's video, man. If you played Mad World, let me know what were your thoughts on it and would you like to see it come back? But that's all I got for today, man. My name is Serial Sensei. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay hydrated, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Here I am, uh, five hours later. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm in the tire. Get me out. Oh, they just... <laughs> <laughs> they threw the tire on me.